the magic lies inside your heart, it's hidden inside your heart. Your creative process is the thing that helps you to get it out into the world. Hi, my name is Luc Leestemaker and I'm a visual artist, a painter, as you can see. I live and work here right under the Hollywood sign and it reminds me every day of the magic of life. People come from all over the world to just see the sign, just to get inspired and it reminds me of the power of creativity. I discovered for myself that in my world as a visual artist, it's a constant battle to keep the creative heart open. A new thing today that you discover, if you're going to repeat it tomorrow, it's already going to be old and a cliché. Even so-called mistakes, what they sometimes call the Buddha's gift, can create a completely new line of work, new line of paintings. And that's actually exactly where the idea for the intentional artist came in, because I started realizing that we live in a time where everybody could really use that sense of creativity in their lives, whether you're an artist or an executive. I think that right now it's all about the new technologies, the new information age that we're only just now entering that requires a completely different way of dealing with life. And that brings me to the stories that I wrote for the book. These are all empirical, anecdotal encounters of how I've lived my life as an artist. Discovering the world not from preset rules and notions, but just from my own journey of discovering what's beyond all those rules. And that can lead to some very interesting discoveries and can easily then also transfer into success in the business world. Now this is really the fun part about this whole thing. The publisher has actually purchased three of my paintings, you see them right here behind me, to make available as a lottery ticket for anybody who pre-orders my book. So the way it works is that when you go to the website and you pre-order the book, your order number becomes actually your lottery ticket. And this gives a chance to anybody to own one of my paintings. It's true democracy.